What's up guys, Chang here with Rise Magic and today I have a really, really cool set of playing cards which seems all too common on this channel but this one is super unique. They are the Altered World Playing Cards which is a whole designer deck of playing cards based off of the work of the Dutch graphic designer MC Escher. Now I remember these optical illusions so well because back in elementary school we used to be able to go to the library for hours at a time and this is way before looking at cool things like Fortnite we would see these books and we'd sit at tables and just look at the illusions for a very long time. I mean it's kind of hard to describe without just looking at it but it's kind of like impossible shapes like the mirror dimension in Doctor Strange or Inception when the dream gets flipped upside down. It's really impossible looking stuff and you can find yourself looking at it for a very long time. In fact, Cash Productions, the people who made these playing cards, told me to start this video with a giveaway. So before we take an in-depth look at all the contents of this brick box, let's do a quick little quiz with the Ace of Clubs. Let's give a quick tutorial of the Ace of Hearts design right here. As you can see, there are three cubes. When you take a first glance at it, these cubes might look like they're inverted, like they have depth to them. But when you look at it in a different direction, sometimes you can see that those same cubes can look like they're popping out rather than being indented in. So there's really six cubes here, not three. So right here, the Ace of Clubs, the first three people in the comments section to guess correctly how many cubes are showcased in the ace of clubs you'll win a deck of these playing cards from cash productions you got that final answer locked in all right let's move on when i first got this in the mail i was pretty blown away it looked like something from gucci or balenciaga not that i own anything like that but it just reminded me of those louis vuitton backpacks i mean to be honest once i got Rise Magic merch. I stopped paying attention to all that silly designer clothing. But anyway, nonetheless, this box looks incredibly cool. There's this leather texture all over it, and there's these magnetic snaps that keep the whole thing open and closed. Inside the box, you're gonna see we have pink, orange, purple, and blue playing cards, and the important thing to note here is that these are the Portal V2s. The Portal V1s, as you can see right here, was their first edition deck of cards. They just included that for me so I could see the V1s, but these are the V2s. So we'll focus on the blue, purple, orange, and pink. And before I open them up, I gotta let you guys know that every single one of these is a numbered set, which means every single deck will have a specific number out of the very limited edition it is out of, but the orange deck will be unlimited, but the purple, blue, and pink they'll be limited. You're about to see all the differences between these colorways up close in person, but I wanna open the purple deck first because people at Cash Productions and Images Online show me that the purple have a very unique border. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, before I open this box completely and show you the cards, I wanna show you some cool things about the box. You can see there's all these illusions on the front, these impossible shapes, this cool graph design, but you'll notice it says AW right there. And once again, AW in kind of a reverse sense on the back, which is really, really cool. You can see these portals on the front as well as some indications of what the court cards are gonna look like. Whoa! And as you'll see when you open the pull tab, there's a little loading sign, like we're entering the alter world. Now there's two pretty amazing ad cards, which we'll get into later. And they are gonna see the back design of these cards, which already looks insane when you fan it. So like I said, the purple ones, the reason why I wanted to open them first is that right there. They've got an incredible back design that bleeds over the white borders and it just makes for ridiculously looking fans. So it seems like if you wanna use one of these colorways for cardistry, this is definitely the one. Now I gotta say these are extremely soft out of the box, feel great, smell great, fan well, and I wanna show you some of the cool designs on the faces of the deck. Something that I really like about this deck is the redesign that it did on playing cards it's very based off of classic playing cards. For example, on your jokers, on a classic bicycle or tally ho deck, you're gonna have a black and white joker and a colored joker. And they did the same thing here with their own twist on it. So you have a black and white joker as well as a colored joker. Now a cool detail on the black and white jokers, you'll see 
that there is actually a shimmer and embossing on the Joker logo. But how these two relate is that the black and white one, you can see the extra lines. It's actually the blueprint for the design. It's showing you how they made the design. For me, it's just so cool to look through and see all these designs because it takes me back to elementary school and I look at these picture books, but this is a, a moving picture book that I can move around and make my own cool designs with on pieces of paper that have incredible designs. It's, it's really cool to see in person. Some quick things that you'll notice is that rather than the hearts and diamonds being the same color and the spades and clubs being the same color, there's actually four different colors on the cards and you'll see that reflected in the four unique ace designs. Now the court cards are probably my favorite design on the whole deck. It's this cartoony remix on classic court cards while going with the design language of the impossible shapes. You guys might not know this, but on classic playing cards, those 12 court cards are based off historical figures. And on a normal King of Hearts, you'll see that the King is actually stabbing himself. He's called the Suicide King. That's remix his own way here on the King of Hearts. This is really cool Suicide King depiction with the little X's on the face, like the emoji. And I just really like the whole design of the court cards. It's, it's minimal while being unique. And that kind of font, that handwriting font, is something that I absolutely love. So after the purple, let's go with the orange since that's the unlimited deck. And I'll show you how the design differs. So you get the same box design with those cool shapes and AW branding. And you'll notice how the borders on the back is different. Use of the classic white border with a very similar design. The design just isn't bleeding off the edge. So while the purple deck might be for cardistry, the next decks are probably gonna be best for magic. And if you prefer that cleaner look on the borders, I personally am torn between the two. I love how those fans look. I've seen other decks do cool fans like that. I just think that that specific one on the layers and it looks really cool. But I'm also a sucker for that, that crisp, white border, that classic white border. And I think they got the size of the border right too, personally. The ad cards are different on every deck and, and we'll get into that at the very end. But here's the orange ones, pretty cool. Moving on, we'll do the pink and then let's end with my favorite color, blue. Woo, another amazing scent. My job is very weird. So here are the two secret ad cards. We'll save those for later. And just another great handling, soft deck feels great this is the breaking in process and as you can see there basically is none it handles great right out of the box watch this first try so lastly we have the blue my personal favorite color i love the baby blue on this you can see the same design but different colors all over the deck, not just the main color blue, but the AW and things like that are all inverse to match the color scheme. And no surprises here, guys, it's gonna handle exactly the same, same great design. Just a different colorway on that great design. Now, if I were to rank these, I would say that my personal favorite is the purple, which surprised me, I thought it would be the blue, but that, that cool border won me over. Now, what's great, when you're checking out the Kickstarter for these people, which is in the description below, be sure to check out their Kickstarter launching today, is that if you get this brick box, you're gonna have all the colors, so you don't have to choose. And big thank you to you guys for sending this. This touch leather is really, really cool. Obviously on this channel, I've seen some extremely intricate box designs, some cool, you know, box sets, but, but this one has a very special place because it's not, it's not doing too much. Not that others were, not that others were doing too much, but this is just clean. Like, just super, super clean and looks designer. And I love it. Now, as well as having that leather box set, there's also another box set you can get on their Kickstarter, which looks like this. And it contains all four colors, just like that, in this cool little cardboard box. Now, lastly, let's talk about the ad cards. Yes, those ad cards. One of the cool features of this deck is that every ad card for each colorway is different. And what they are, are these origami type cut out shapes, artwork, really going with the whole theme here. I'll show you guys how to make one right here, but it's very, very simple. So this is what the ad card looks like. You'll see pink on this side, greenish on this side, but they're different on each deck like this one. This one is green on the outside and blue on the inside, and you can fold these and make them any way you want. So you cut along the dotted line. 
Okay. So we're all cut out into this cross-like shape and now the folding begins. Actually, I missed a corner, one second. So I'm gonna make all these folds and creases first. This also reminds me of the paper airplanes episode way back during the start of COVID where Tyler and I challenged ourselves to make paper airplanes and uh, playing card paper airplanes. Now we're all ready for some glue. Let's try and make this happen. And there you guys have it. You're gonna let it dry for a little bit, then you'll get these really cool cube art pieces. I won't show you them all because that's on you guys to figure out for yourself. That's one of those really unique things about this deck is how they're different with every colorway and kinda, and kinda gotta collect them all, it seems. All right, guys, that's all I got for the Altered World V2 playing cards. This is a really cool deck for multiple reasons, as you saw in this video, but a cool thing for me is that Cash Productions, the guy behind it, he's actually a Rise fan. He said his first car tutorial was one that he watched from us, which is so cool that he saw that a few years ago and ended up producing his own deck that looks this cool. Like this is seriously high level professional design. You guys know I love playing cars that push the envelope and, and these are really freaking cool. So go ahead and check the link in the description. Next video, I got another playing car video, but it's a twist on a cool magical tale. If you can guess what deck of cars it is, that's good on you, but Whitney will be making a special guest appearance. See you guys then.